A pair of AL clubs. Athletics baseball as Oakland goes up against the Los Angeles Angels. And now it's out to Los Angeles with Gary Thorne for the first pitch. What's up, you guys? Welcome back we to the show. To I'm Live 5 and this is a MLB 2K12 franchise game. Uh, we're going up against the Los Angeles Angels in Anaheim. We've got Dallas Braden on the mound. Dallas Braden is a beast. I love playing with this guy because he has one of the best pickoff moves in the league. And we need to keep them off their bases. You know, even if he gives up a walk, even if he gets a, gives up a single, we need to keep him off the bases. We're going up against Dan Heron. Dan Heron is a potential ace on any other staff because they got Jared Weaver. And, I mean, the, the, the pitching staff at the end was just so good um, that we, when we get opportunities, we need to cap. If we don't, <laughs> we're going to um, be in a big pile of sweat. Okay, so you guys see the lineup here. The biggest difference is Derek Barton, um, Hicks, and Wrecker are now starting in a place of Suzuki, Jamayo Weeks, and Chris Carter, who's usually the DA spot. Because they're tired, we've been, we've been playing a lot of games in a row, so I figured I'd give them a rest. Um, so that's the biggest difference here. So the lineup has kind of changed since the last time you saw it. You know, Cespedes has his back as well, which is cool. All right, so here's the, here's the outfield for the Angels. Now, this Angels outfield is really, really good. Tori Hunter, obviously, is one of the standouts. Um, and here, Derek Barton is going to hit a line drive. 200 but he's gonna die and he's gonna miss this he's gonna roll to the wall so Derek Martin is actually going to scurry around second and get to third so in the first inning with one out we have a guy at third now this is what I'm talking about <laughs> we need to somehow figure out how to get Derek Barton home because Dan Heron is not going to give up very many runs. So we need to get him home. The guy after Derek Barton is Brandon Allen who has been having a pretty good year so far. So hopefully he can get it done. He actually hits a ground ball to second base and second base is going to throw it home and Derek Barton is going to run out of contact but the catcher can't hold on to the ball. Uh, I think Derek Barton like hit his glove with his uh, cleat or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what exactly happened, but something happened there, and we're safe. So I'm not going to argue with it, obviously, because we get a one-run lead, um, which is good. Now, on the bottom of the first, um, Dallas Braden gets a the first out of the game is going to be a ground ball to Brandon Allen. Brandon, Brandon Allen is going to step on first with the first out. And let's look at the lineup for the Angels. Obviously, the biggest thing is our people. It's a big signing for them this year. Obviously, in real life, he has been performing very well. He only has one home run on the year. But in this, he is a beast. And it's so hard to pitch to him. Like, literally, what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to pitch around him because... He can take anyone deep at any time. You guys see the defense. Obviously, like I mentioned, there are some people who aren't usually there, but because people need to get best. The only assessment has his back. Ah, oh, his defense is so good. All right, second inning, two outs. There's a guy on first, but guess what? Grab them pie and meat. That's a changeup. He probably has one of the best changeups in the game. That was great. Don't even try, son. Sit down. So the substitute for Suzuki Rucker is in here, and he's going to get hit by the pitch. So you know what that means? Now I'm pissed because now you made it personal. You're going to hit someone who doesn't even play the game very much. So, you know, now we've got to capitalize on this. We've got to capitalize on it. No two count. Sogar is going to hit this past second baseman, and that's going to be a single. So now we've got a man on second and first. Something could happen here. This is something that, we again, we need to capitalize. Coco Chris, top of the lineup, going to just hit a ground ball, and this is going to be fielded by Pujols to Heron. So unfortunately, Coco Crisp is not able to get the guy home from second. But again, you know, we building confidence because I think that we can obviously get some hits off this guy. They can't hit Dallas Braden's changeup though. This changeup is probably the best changeup in the game. Can I say that? Are people gonna get pissed at me if I say that? <laughs> it's like they can't hit it. It's absolutely insane. So here we go again. Kendrick Mor Morales, two and two count. Two out, second inning, guess where I'm throwing him? Change up. Caught you looking, son. Get out of my batter's box. It's, it's crazy. Dallas Brandon is shutting down the Los Angeles Angels offense so far. So far. And like I said, we need this win. You guys see the American League West standings? The Angels are in first, and we are actually in third. So we need to move up, and that's why a win here is so, so important. Third inning. One out, 0-2 count. I'll give you one guess. 
We got some guy to throw here. Change up. Got him. Dallas Braden is changing up the game, son. <laughs> How lame was that? I don't care. I mean, it's like, don't do even try to swing. Just walk. Just go up. Say, hi. Nice to meet you. Good. Bye. One, two count. Change up. Got him. Dallas Braden. Again, another shutdown inning. He's giving up one hit. I mean, One, two, that's that's like keep pigeon like this. Hopefully, we can get him some more some some more offense here. Scott Sizemore is going to slam this one all the way to the State Farm sign. This is going to actually uh, turn out to be something that's actually going to be pretty good because he's still running. He's still running now. I was thinking about going for third, like I was debating it, but luckily he had the speed to get there in time. So again. Scott Sizemore gets the third, one out. This is what we need to capitalize on. If we can get a run here, something can happen. Something can definitely happen. So the batter after Scott Sizemore is Rucker, Wrecker, who is in, in, in the game for Suzuki. So if he can hit like a fly ball, if he can hit a ground ball, all we need is to score that run. We need to capitalize on the opportunities. And he's going to hit this one high uh, right to the right the uh, left fielder and he is going to grab this but scott sidemore is going to run home and there's a throw but it doesn't even matter because he slides he's a gamer baby stud and that's deep enough and i can't stress now we have a two run lead and with dallas Braden pitching like he has been pitching good things on the horizon i can see it two and two count fourth inning no outs there's a change up and dallas Braden is just going to go to first so the guy stays a second um, but again, fourth inning, one out, and this gets by Rucker, but he does not advance, luckily. And that's the difference, obviously. With Suzuki there, Suzuki can handle that, Rucker can't uh, change up again, and we get him to fly out to Cespedes. And this guy is not even going to try to tag up in second because Cespedes' arm is a gun, baby. The flipping gun. So he's, he could get out. It's fourth inning, two outs. Uh, change up. And this one's hit deep, but Cespedes is going to get there to the warning track. Scroll back, make the play. So they get a double, but it does not turn into anything. Dallas Braden is able to shut this team down with another Zero Hero. <laughs> Can we need to give him a nickname? Zero Hero? Derek Martin hits one up the middle, so he is just hitting the ball so well and I mean like you never know if he keeps performing he may get a spot in the lineup Jonas Cespedes is going to hit this one high and he's going to hit this one deep and this one's going to actually go off the wall now Cespedes was not running like after he got the first I don't know why so he's only going to get a double Derek Barton is going to stroll home and get there safely so now we have a 3-1 lead and a 3-1 lead against the Angels and their pitching staff is such a big accomplishment, especially for the A's. And I think Seth Perez, his bat is going to just help us out so well. I mean, you guys see in the replay, he stopped the first, he didn't go to second. Um, so, I mean, obviously he may have been able actually to go to third, but he, like I said, he stopped for some reason. I don't know why. So, but again, we get the RBI. So now it's 3-0, fifth inning, one out, and this one is hit lazily. And Seth Bidez! Woo! Hoo -hoo! Goal glove play by Seth Bidez. Can we say uh, number one on ESPN Top 10? I think so. Let's vote. Who wants to see this as number one in top ten? I do. Right in the comments. Number one play. Look at him stretch out for that and take away a base hit. Unfortunately, he does get hurt again. Um, this is becoming a recurring theme, so maybe I'll spin him at DH. I'm not sure. But his fielding is so good. He's out for one or two weeks, which sucks monkey. <laughs> uh, what I do is I'm going to bring in Taylor um, for him and then switch Taylor for Crisp. So Crisp actually ends up in center field. That's going to become a problem in the game, you guys see. Like, he's not the same fielder as Cespedes. So, two outs in the fifth. They got a man at first. And, whoo, grabs and pine. Meet Dallas Braden with that changeup inside. You don't throw a changeup inside, right? Well, don't tell Dallas Braden that. Ibar, goodbye. Adios, amigo. He snares it. At this point, Dan Heron decides that he's going to pitch like the ace that he is. So he, just, he shuts me down here, and then he gets me looking um, here. So he gets out of six unharmed. Um, hopefully, I mean, I was hoping that, you know, the offense would carry over to the next inning, but it does not. 
Overall, Dan Heron pitched pretty well, though. I mean, he obviously we were able to get some runs off him, which was surprising, but I'm not complaining. Sixth inning, no outs, 2 2 count. This one's going to be hit right up the middle. And you guys see the red and crisp thing? I mean, it was just, go I don't know. I wasn't even pressing the button, it was just going crazy. But again, if that is his arm is nowhere near Cespedes' arm. This one's hit high and deep. Taylor going to be able to track this one down and fire to the cutoff man and hold the guy at first. So now it's sixth inning. We run lead, one out, so we can't get hurt by Pujols. Even if he gets a homer, we cannot get hurt. We do throw one here, and it just gets past Sogard into center field, and they're going to test Crisp's arm, and I don't blame him. You guys see it. It wasn't even close to third base. So now they got a man at first and third, and, I mean, not good. Sixth inning, one out. Woo hoo hoo! Two seamer, baby. You think I'm throwing that change up? I got other pitches. Strike out, grab some pine meat. Beast. Bona fide beast. Tory Hunter, I'm looking at him, I'm like, huh. He doesn't hit change ups very well. And Dallas Braden has one of the best change ups in the league. Uh, why not just throw this one? No chance. You had no chance. He gets out of this and keeps the shutout intact. It is still 3-0. He's given up some hits. But he's been able to pitch around it, dig in when he needed to, and make the plays. Coco Crisp is going to hit this one in the gap. Um, and Torrey Hunter is actually going to be able to get this one pretty well. But Crisp, with his speed, does slide headfirst into second base. So he gets a, uh, a, a double in the seventh inning with one out. And this was actually a really good play because now, again, we get someone in scoring position and we need to capitalize because four runs <laughs> is better than three runs because if anyone has played this game on a, on a high difficulty, you know this can change like that. So they decided to take Heron out for uh, Thompson, I think. Derek Barton comes up and he has been raping the ball. <laughs> Not like great, but a good thing. He hits the, the third base and throw, third base and throw to second, trying to keep Chris, but Chris has been long gone second base, so that was did not work out at all well for the computers. So now there's a guy at first and third, one out. Brandon Allen, you guys see it. He has been playing really well this game, but he has been having a good year. Unfortunately, he's going to hit into a one, and uh, that's two, a double play. So. I mean, it's, it's unfortunate that he did, but at the same time, you have a three-run lead, so it wasn't vital for that fourth one. It would have just been cushion. Um, but Brandon Allen needs to play better. You know, he needs to play better, especially with Derek Martin fighting for that spot. Seventh inning, no outs, 2-2 two -two count, change up, grab some pine again, meet. Adios. You're done, son. You are done, son. Look at this. Outside, inside, change up, outside, no chance. That's what you gotta pitch him. You know, you got I mean you gotta pitch him inside, you gotta pitch him outside. Gotta hit those corners, go up high with the fastball, high cheese, everyone likes that high cheese. This one's gonna be hit a line drive hard to Taylor. So he's gonna give up a hit. And I'm thinking Dallas Braden may be a little bit out of gas here. So I wanna warm up the bullpen. I bring in uh, I warm up De Los Santos. Um seventh inning, two outs. All we need is one out though. This one's gonna be hit to crisp. Now I'm surprised they didn't run a third on Chris was weak on. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that they didn't do that, but they didn't. 0-2 um, count, and this one is just going to be hit lazily to Sogar. He's going to uh, go out a little bit and make the play. So Dallas Braden was able to get out of this inning. Great, great pitching again. You guys see the hits. He's giving them up, but he's able to make the pitch when he needs to make the pitch. So obviously after um, they shut me down one, two, three, which I'm not going to show you because that's embarrassing, Dallas Braden gets taken out of the game. And, you know, this guy should get a standing ovation because he just pitched amazing today. He was able to shut down this high-powered offense. Hopefully De Los Santos can come in and make the hold. You guys see the ERA. Uh, it's not really where I want to be. But, again, it can he can help that if he pitches really well. He gives up a... Hard hit ball, but luckily the, the Taylor Taylor's going to stroll over and make the play, so that's the first out of the inning. Whew. I know, I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is getting really, really, really hit hard. Albert Pujols decides to hit one up the middle to Chris, and Albert Pujols has been playing really well in April, apparently. See the April ranks um, raking the ball, like, absolutely going bananas, and maybe I just should have walked him. I don't know. I mean, he only got a single, so obviously a single isn't as bad, but this one's going to go to Sizemore. Sizemore. One. Hicks, and Allen, and that's two. So, De Los Santos gets out of the inning. He gives up a single to Pujols, but a double play, uh, you know, I mean, hey, 
No harm, no foul, right? So good job, De Los Santos. Um, Norberto actually got cut because of <laughs> last time. So De Los Santos is now going to be like the main setup guy yeah, as well as Divine. So he was able to get the whole, um, keep the offense in check. And now we give the ball over to our closer, Grant Balfour. And Grant Balfour, the Australian sensation, I think, is going to come in here. He, he, I mean, his fastball is really, really good. So I'm going to rely on that to get out of this inning and close it out for the Oakland Athletics and gain a game on the on the Angels because this is this is so important, especially because this is the third game in the series, and they won one, I won one. We need to win this one. This is going to be a ground ball to Allen for out number one in the ninth. All we need are two more. All we need are two more, Grant Balfour. Come on, baby. One out. He there gets me the first pitch. His, hit this one to Hicks, who's uh, playing today for Jamiah Weeks, and he's going to throw it to Allen. So that's two outs. Good job, Hicks. Two outs. One, two count. High fly ball. And this is going to go to Chris. Chris gets in position and gets the play. So we are able to beat the Los Angeles Angels, which feels so good. I know it's just a video game, but it just feels so good. Golly, it does. Dallas Braden, amazing pitching performance. His changeup was working. He got so many people to swing and miss. And I think that's the biggest difference because when your best pitch is a fastball, it's very, very, very hard to strike out the computer. You know, you need something with movement. And that's, I think, why um, Bartolo Colon is having so much throw because his best pitch is his fastball. And against the computer, that's not going to be good news bears. So that sucks. The only such bet is going to be on a DL for 12 plus days, which is unfortunate because you guys just saw him hit the ball off the wall. So we're going to miss his offense, but whatever. That's it, you guys. Hopefully, you guys know the video. Uh, check out Conejo. They have a website. Can you believe it? They actually have websites. Go check out the website. It's in the description below. Check out uh, the My Player. Check out the NBA Association. It's back, baby. Let's 5 I'm out.